Hello, welcome back to Rob's Reviews and Demos. I'm doing the functionality review of the LG OK99 and the LG OK75. Uh, the tops of the speakers are the exact same, they do the same thing. The only difference between the top of the units is these cool lights around the turntables that the 99 has. Uh, 75 doesn't have these. Otherwise, they're the exact same. So, a couple things. The power button. Uh, this is the record button. Um, I haven't played with it too much, but you can record all kinds of stuff with this. You can record from the CD. You can record um, so many songs to a USB flash drive. You can record off the radio. You can record off the microphone. Uh, you have all kinds of all kinds of options there. And I, I didn't play with it too much. Um, your two USB ports, obviously, for flash drive. Uh, then you have the function button here, uh, which switches to your different functions, TV. You do have a radio, and the radio basically doesn't work without the antenna. There is an antenna connection in back, so you can add an antenna as big as you like or as small as you like. Uh, I haven't gone through all the stations. I would imagine a few come in, but I haven't really played with it too much. JBL does not do this. Uh, JBL also does not do any of the recording other than the recording of, you can record up to 16 sound effects on the JBL DJ pad, which is a really cool option. Uh, so next function is you have a CD player. I would imagine, you know, some people have CDs they like to listen to. Uh, you also have USB 1, USB 2. And JBL doesn't do this. You have an optical cable to hook up to your to your sound on your TV or you know whatever your your uh, I guess your PlayStation has opticals now. Whatever has an optical cable, you can use that to get your to get your sound, which is cool. JBL doesn't do that. They only have uh, RCA cables. Auxiliary, which is like you know just like a regular headphone jack. Uh, portable, that's just like, you know, laptops, uh, notebooks, iPads, etc. And then your Bluetooth, which is standard. Basically, turn your phone on, go to Bluetooth, select the OK99, and, and you're good. You're paired up. Uh, the wire slink button is for linking the speaker with another speaker. Uh, it's cool that you can do that, and you can do it on both speakers. The only downfall is you do not get stereo. You're still in mono, which is which is kind of sad. It's the one thing that LG doesn't do that the JBL does, and, and to me it's pretty important to have two speakers rather than one and have them in stereo. So LG needs to work on that. So that's it pretty much for the top of the speaker. This is uh, your microphone volume, and this is your music volume. So your master your mic, your mic goes to 15, your master goes to 40, and boy does this thing loud. Uh, next we have the party accelerator, I think there's a couple different settings for this, basically it just makes some cool noises. So that's one, and then party accelerator mode two. That's okay, it's not bad. Mode one. I do like that one. So that's your party accelerator. Uh, another thing that the LG does that the JBL doesn't. You can skip a song, pause a song, etc. And the uh, JBL, you can't do that. LG does this, which is great. I really like that. And I don't want to leave out the fact that the LG also has a remote control. There is one thing I don't like about the functions, uh, the volume function. If I'm turning the volume up on my phone, I can only get to 25. I either need to, to do this manually or use the remote to get it all the way up. That that kind of gets on my nerves once in a while if I just have my phone with me. Uh, next, so these buttons over here, same as the JBL, the voice canceller. 
Uh, you do karaoke, you hit this button, it cancels the vocals of the song that you're playing. Uh, so you can sing, you know, over the song. It also has the key cha changer, like the JBL has. Basically, when you're singing along to a song, you can change the key of the vocals on the song itself to match your vocal range. Uh, some people like to sing along. I'm a sing along guy. I don't really mess with this because when I sing along, I'm usually buzzed and I don't care what I sound like. So yeah, I don't mess with this, but it's but it is a cool feature for people that like to sing along. And maybe while you're doing that, you can even record on new USB, so you can record your your vocals. Uh, vocal effects, another thing the JBL doesn't do. When you use the microphone, you have different effects. You can go bass, soprano, helium, robot. I'll give you a little robot uh, here. It sound like there's two of you, woman, and then it also will add echo for you. And there's two echo settings, one and two. Uh, let's go back to B. So this, this is, is soprano, soprano with, with echo. echo. Tell you what you got going on there. This is helium with echo. Helium is one of my favorite ones, by the way. As is the bass. The bass is hard to understand when I record it, though. So, but I'll give it a shot. Let's just go back to regular bass with no echo. This is the bass voice. I love it. I think it sounds awesome. I hope you can understand me. So that's the bass voice. Um, I think that's it. And then, like I said, you have echoes. You could just do normal, your normal voice, add an echo. There is one thing about the, the controls I don't like, the function controls. They just don't seem intuitive to me. Like, it's kind of complicated. You really have to look at the manual to figure it all out. Um, I like a, a unit that's set up that I can play with it a little bit and figure it out. There's a lot going on here. And you definitely need the remote because a lot of the functionality is in the remote. That concludes part one of the in-depth feature review on the LG OK99 and OK75. Thanks for clicking on the clip. I appreciate it. Remember to click like and subscribe. And part two is coming up. Thanks again.